You have to become better for you. <clears throat> you have to become better for you. That's that's just it. Like <clears throat> and people don't necessarily sometimes want to do that. And I get it. I get it. But there's a balance that has to go on with self-improvement. Like self-improvement and and people say, "Oh, I don't want to I don't want to do any type of self-improvement." Okay. Well, that's fine. But for the people that you look at, for the people that are successful, for the people that are building, for the people that are growing, guess what they're working on? Self-improvement. You have to know oneself. It's just it. You have to know you. You have to know your deficiencies. You have to know your proficiencies. You have to know what you excel at. And that takes some some effort. That takes some effort. Do you guys hear me? That takes a lot of effort. And in order to do that, hey, it takes some sacrifice. It takes some decisions. It takes some learning. It takes some training. It takes all of those things. But you can do it. Promise you that you can. I promise you that you can, guys. I, I absolutely promise you that you can do it. You have to be intentional. You need a guide. You need a guide to improve. Right? The world was set up in a way that you need other people. I don't care what people say. I don't care. I did it all by myself. You didn't. You didn't. You did not. I don't care whether it was a social media influence that you listened to. It was a book you read. You did it with a team, whether they were a physical team or they were some, you know, an influence through books, through this, through that. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. You learned it from somewhere. It just it is what it is, guys. So, don't have a lot for you today. I'm going to keep it really, really short. Um, as you can see, I put out two episodes a day because I forgot to hit publish on yesterday's episode. So frustrated because I actually got it done early. So I'm going to give you two episodes today. So this one's going to be pretty short. So anyways, guys, you know, <clears throat> I don't talk so much about actually cutting hair. It's just not to, can can I teach it? Yeah, I, I can. I can. But what I find more difficult than anything else is that a lot of people who get into this industry have some issues with their personal development. They're trying to outwork people by not doing the inner work needed on themselves. You need some inner work done. You need to sit down and say, hey, why am I doing this? What is the reason that I'm doing this? Why do I continue to keep doing these things? You got to spend some time with it. You got to spend some time with it and figure it out. I promise you, it will improve your life. 
it will improve your life. Why do I get mad at this situation? We talked about this yesterday with the whole communication. One of the people that you have to get better with communicating with is yourself. How I do that? Tell yourself the truth. Hold yourself accountable. Like that's that's one of the biggest things that people don't do. I'm pointing out at somebody else. All right. Okay. I tell I tell a story. All right, and 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 this is this is one, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you guys with this. I think. <clears throat> so when I first got started in my barbering career as a professional, um, I used to have a lot of guys that came in with hats on. And they had these horrendous hat rings around their head. And... I used to get into the haircut and be frustrated. You hear me? Frustrated. Because I'm like, oh my God, like, you want this and th- th- then you don't take care of your hair and yada, 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 and so on and so forth, right? Blaming someone else. Not holding myself accountable as the barber professional. Listen, they done had his hair all their life. But they don't know how to take care of it. They don't know how to cut it. That's why they come to me. That's why I'm in business. Because people don't know how to do this. At least not in a way that they actually like it. People don't know how to do it. So I said, okay, all right. And so I'm frustrated because I I kept getting, I, I would get two or three a week where I get stuck right there in that hat band and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So one day I'm sitting there scrolling through, I think it was maybe Instagram. Yeah, it was probably Instagram. I'm scrolling through Instagram, looking at different barber videos, and I see uh, Tyree Jackson. I see Tyree Jackson, and he's talking about this exact same issue. And he said, Anybody see this? Isn't this a harder hair to cut? Yeah, do you get frustrated in this point? Yeah, I do. I, listen, we having a personal conversation at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing everything. I'm locked in. He said, well, what caused it to form that way? Well, the hat band and the sweat that was created by the hat band. Right? Which is what? Moisture. Which means that the Hydrogen bonds have been interrupted to create the hair, to to, to form the hair in the way that it has. I said, okay. Right? Hydrogen bonds. Somebody read the Milady textbook. Right? I'm being kind of smart because I'm like, what do you, like, I I, I 100% respect him as a barber and for what he has done in the industry. But at this point, I'm being a little prideful because I'm like, what is he about to show me? And when I say he showed the simplest process, he said, okay, if it's formed this way through the sweat and the hat band, you have to interrupt the hydrogen bombs and form the hydrogen bonds and form them again. Right? And I'm paraphrasing, it's not exactly the words that he said, but you kind of get what it is, right? So my man Tyreek takes water, sprays it in the area where it is, takes a brush and a blow dryer, and guess what he does? Disturbs the hydrogen bombs, reforms the hair to an acceptable place, and then starts cutting it. I said, ain't no way it could be that simple. So I go to the shop. 
And and for me, I don't know what it is, but as soon as I see, I see stuff like that, of course, you know, the next thing that happens, somebody like for me, they come in, they, they, they come into the shop right after that exact same issue, everything like that. So somebody comes in and I'm like, okay, wonderful, great. Got the same thing. I'm like, ooh, hat band. I said, all right, Mr. Jackson, let's see if you really know what you're talking about. Now, I'm again, I'm prideful. I'm talking trash, right? So I said, let me pull out my little funky water here, everything like that. So I spray the area with the water, grab my little brush, grab the blow dryer, Cut it on, hit it. It does exactly what he said it does. I said, oh, shoot. Now, I'm working behind a chair getting mad at clients because they got a hat band. And guess what? The answers were in the book. And I said, well, maybe he just, and, and, and I'm going to tell you the truth. I said, well, maybe he just made that up. Maybe he just made that up. Right? This is this is the accountability piece, right? So he did it. It worked. And I was like, okay, cool. So then I go home, grab my book, open it up. Boom. Get to the section. And I'm reading it. Now, did it, it explain it in the same way? No. But I could connect the theories together and I said oh shoot it's in the book now I'm mad at clients because they wear a hat they don't take care of their hair da 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 but I am the professional so what did I do well guess what you guessed it I said, well, man, this is what I'm going to do from now on. And from now on, and and since then, that's what I have always done. But I spend time being upset with clients. Mad if you come in with a hat on. Why would you have a hat on before you come get a haircut? Well, why not? Because if you know what you're doing, then it shouldn't be an issue. Right? I had to accept the fact that I did not know what I was doing. And then I learned what to do. And it has been easy for me ever since. Man, they come in like that. Boom. I knock it. I, Hey, first thing I'm doing. Spray it down. Hit it with the blow dryer. You know what I'm saying? Get it how I need it to look. Get it to look to kind of match the rest of the hair. Boom. In there. But had I sought the answers that frustrated me earlier on instead of just being upset with clients because of the way that they care for the it's their hair. They came to me to get a service. They needed a haircut. Obviously, that that's why I got the hat band stain. You know the hatband imprint all around, the, all around the head. They needed a haircut, man. I tell you what, that was a humbling experience and a lesson in accountability. Hold yourself accountable. And can can I just say this? Can we please, as barbers, like when we get out of school, stop getting rid of our book? Why would you get rid of the book? Oh, I started it already. Can I just say this? And, and, And just take it for what it is. Going through that book while you're in school, going through that book, studying for the test, and doing all that kind of stuff, and then getting rid of it, is probably the craziest thing I've ever heard. Why would you get rid of it? 
the answers are in there. You were in school 10 months, a year, maybe two years. Do you really think that you absorbed all the information? Hey, it's a big thing for people to say. I, go back to your roots. Your roots are in that book. You may be flipping through and remember like, oh, my teacher said this at this point in the book. It is what it is. You know, so. Listen, man. Hold yourselves accountable. And I know that's easier said than done. But. You don't get a right to be upset with a client because you didn't know something. And I'm not, like, I've done it. I've been upset with clients. Why you ask for this haircut? This is not an easy haircut, or this is a complicated haircut, or this is what, I've been upset with them for that. For what? Why? I am the professional. You are not. And you guys need to remember that. You're the professional. You're the one going around telling everybody you're a barber. You're the one doing this. You're the one doing that. You're the one saying these things. Don't get upset when a client pull your card. I don't cut that texture of hair. All right. Cool. It's some of us out here to do. It's a lot of us out here to do. Just wanted to let you know, in case you didn't. It's a lot of us out here to do. So, close yourself off to a clientele base if you want. That's fine. But don't be upset when your money looks funny. Guys, this has been another episode of the Band of Barbers podcast. I really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so, so, so much for tuning in with us and really, you know, engaging with our community, right? The band is for you guys. The band, the group is for you all. Okay? It's for you all. Just here to share a little information. But you guys... Really, share it. Get with your other barbers. Y'all want to listen to this. You want to critique me? That's fine. You want? Do you want? That's fine. I'm. I. I applaud it. I enjoy. I am ready for it. Not in a competition way, in an improvement way. I want to grow this brand in this business for you guys like I do I do I really really do so again please as always like comment share subscribe so this band can grow into an awesome amazing thing this community is here for you guys this community is here to help you grow. I'm not just here to teach you how to cut hair. Not. Teach you how to be a I'm here to teach you how to be a bit a better person. A better person. Thank you guys again for tuning in. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night.